Okay, everyone, welcome to my channel. So, hopefully, get the loves, peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bolder to you all. We're gonna hop right into it. Already seized for the cards and shuffled over the decks. This is going to be how does your co workers view you? How does your co workers view you? If this reading resonates with you, please like, comment down below, subscribe to let me know you stopped by, hit that notification bell so you never miss out when I post. If you're interested in my Patreon or personal reading, that is down below in the description box for something more personal, babies. Let's get into this reading, part one. So, Power One, your coworkers view you as somebody where you make a lot of good decisions here. You somebody where they view you as somebody where you can um, show up to work on time. You know, other people can make, you know, take shortcuts at work. They may do certain stuff. They may not take the full on um, procedures, you know, or do the full on um, instructions like they're supposed to. They may take shortcuts, but they notice that you, um, you know do what you're told here so this is how your co-workers view you the co-workers could be as somebody where you switch up your hair a lot or you switch up your style a lot for some of you guys um your co-workers never know what to expect when you come to work a lot of you guys see your co-workers find you to be somebody where you are very attractive here um this is how your co-workers view you man or woman here they view you as very attractive here uh, some of you guys see your co could view you as somebody where um uh, some of you guys, your coworkers could view you as somebody where you do make bad decisions or you do do sneaky stuff. You just do it around other coworkers or you just do it around coworkers that you trust. So certain coworkers could view you as you let certain people see different sides of you. Um, you have different relationships with different people. You don't treat everybody kind of the same. You kind of treat people based off what type of connection y'all have. So this is how coworkers view you. They feel like if you do, if you are doing anything sneaky, um, you switching up and doing it around other coworkers that you feel comfortable that maybe do the same thing this is how co-workers view you here some of you guys here there could be co-workers here or there could be a co-worker here that tries to say something to get under your skin for some of you guys here now this could be co-workers that notice this where there's another co-worker that's always saying something slick or saying something odd or just weird or whatever here this is what i'm getting here whoever this co-worker is this is somebody where they're just trying to get a reaction from you here and other people can see this here with the five of stories here reverse here for some of you guys here this could be somebody where it, um you could be very peaceful here um you could be somebody where a lot of people get along with you so this person wants to have an issue with you because everybody gets along with you so this is how your co-workers view you your co-workers can view you as having somebody at the job that does not like you they may say certain stuff to get a reaction out of you they may say certain stuff just to make you upset or this person just may do certain stuff when they're around the people they may say slick comments about you when they get around other people here with this five of in reverse here you are somebody where you are somebody where you're very solution oriented you come around um you see that you guys got a good vibe people enjoy talking to you communicating with you uh, it's like you get along very well with other people and for whatever reason this has something to do with why this um co-worker has an issue with you some of you guys here this person can have an issue with you connecting with the people at the workplace y'all can have a co-worker that don't like the bond or connections that you're building with other people they don't like the fact that you're likable this could be aquarius it does not have to be we got the high priestess in reverse here. Some of you guys say this is somebody where they're misjudging you here as well. This is somebody where they're very biased here as well. So yeah, some of y'all, you can have a co-worker at your workplace that, you know, don't like the fact that everybody like you. They don't like the fact that everybody like being around you. You know, you solicit your oriented. You come up with good things here. They don't like that here. And this is somebody where they're very biased here. This person misjudges you. Some of you guys here, this is a co-worker where they view you as too nice. Or they view, or they can feel like you're not really nice like you portray yourself to be. You're not really sweet or you're not really cool. The way that you portray yourself you're actually very evil here this is how they view you here uh, with the nine of pentacles here for some of you guys this co-worker could have an issue with uh how you look a lot of you guys you could appear like you have a lot of material things going on for yourself or you just seem like you have a lot of things like merchandise for yourself material things accessories here some of you guys here this co-worker have an issue with how you accessorize yourself like earrings and things like that how you accessorize yourself is very flashy here a lot of you guys you get a lot of attention from people some of you guys here you can even have a co-worker at their job that's upset that that upset they could feel like the boss takes a liking to you or your boss takes a favor to you or maybe you know, somebody that's in a higher position takes a favor to you here so this is what i'm getting here so yeah so this is how some of your co-workers feel some of you guys you do have co-workers that don't kind of mess with you they kind of don't like you here i am seeing this here um these co-workers that don't like you here they watch you here as well with the two of wands here, they could be watching you um, go towards a different position here. Some of you guys here, these cohorts could want you to go to a different job here. They could want you to take a new path to do something else. So you do have coworkers 
um how they view you is they kind of don't like you ever since you came to the job or you're around for some of you guys they kind of want you to go to a new job or whatever for some of you guys that's what i'm seeing here others of you here um you could even be moving up positions into the workplace or whatever you're gonna have a choice or option to move to, to be granted to move up in the workplace and they can feel some type of way about this here so this is what I'm seeing here. A lot of you guys see, of course, could be you as somebody where you're very diplomatic. You know, you somebody where you see both sides of the situation. Some of you guys, you have coworkers that kind of don't like the fact that you don't agree with them. They don't like the fact that you find them interesting. Like certain coworkers that everybody kind of like being around, they kind of like agree with them or they kind of all think alike. Specifically, I have a coworker around y'all that don't like the fact that you're not like a yes man they don't like the fact that you don't like laugh when they saying jokes or you don't find them amusing like everybody else do they don't like that uh, this is probably as well we don't like the fit way that you challenge perspectives as well for some of you guys this is what i'm getting here so y'all can have a cook and a feel some type of way here with this three of pinnacles here in reverse for some of you guys here you can even have a co-worker that feel like you they have to do more work than you here this three pinnacles in reverse here and the five of cups here in the upright for some of you guys yeah they feel like they have to do more work they um could feel like you don't have to put as much effort in as they do for some of you guys when the position that they're in or the five of cups here in reverse for some of you guys this person doesn't like the fact that you are being able to get by maybe to move forward without getting in trouble by it so i don't know y'all can have a corker that don't like the fact that they sent they have to do more work than what you do and they feel some type of way it could be a capricorn or a scorpio here well this is how your co-workers feel some of you guys here, your coworkers do feel like you have pretty privilege or pretty handsome guy privilege here. Your coworkers do feel like you being there and your looks plays a part into your position here. With the eight of wands in reverse here for some of you guys, um, you can even have coworkers that feel like they're not progressing because like like you can have coworkers that may feel like they're better than you at something but because of your looks that's what's blocking them for progressing so you can have coworkers that feel like they are better than you at certain jobs or certain tasks but you're seen as it because of your looks or how handsome you are how gorgeous you are and you're kind of getting in the way of them progressing so your coworkers can view view um you as being around at the wrong time like oh yeah you kind of you they feel like you got like the lead way like they feel like the reason why they're not progressing is because you like somebody's attracted to you or you know people at the workplace is attracted to you or your looks get you by here because your eye candy this is what i'm seeing here yeah we got the king of wands in reverse here some of you guys here they could uh, with the ace of pentacles here for some of you guys and the king of wands in reverse next is for some of you guys um you can even have a co-worker that feel some of you guys if you have like some type of promotion that you was given um, you can have a co-worker that felt like they was lied to. Like, you can have a co-worker that felt like they was lied, thinking that they could have been told that you're going to get some type of position. You have the King of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles right next to the King of Pentacles. A new opportunity is coming in to put you in a stable position to be able to take care of yourself. Um, with the King of Wands here in reverse here, that could have been somebody lied to somebody told them that they was going to offer them a position. So some of you guys here, y'all could have a co-worker that's upset because they did not get some type of position or they did not end up progressing you know or this person some of you guys here with this eight of wands reverse it makes me feel like this person was going to get this position till you came around so some of you guys here this is what i'm seeing like you had a co-worker co -worker that was upset at you or maybe still upset at you is because they was going to get some type of position they was working hard for something they was actually going to get it but the um eight of wands reverse here it was bad timing because you end up coming to the job or whatever and then somebody ended up lying to them telling them they were going to get in this position or whatever but now this person wants to give it to you because you look very attractive you look very good yeah and now this quarter feel like you the reason why they didn't get something before you showed up did something supposed to go towards their favor so this is what i'm seeing here you have the star card here you getting you the attention going towards you you getting the recognition here this is how somebody feels here look at the, the page of swords and the person's watching you like this person could that you'll have a co-worker at your job that literally watch y'all from afar and they literally talk a lot of s-h-i-t about y'all in their head they cannot stand y'all and it's all because they were supposed to get something before you got there and another person that lied until they're going to get in this position and then when you got here this person started seeing you 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 caught somebody's attention it could be a boss or whatever or just somebody that's higher than you in hr you caught somebody's attention here and they was willing to pull strings for you or they're going to try to pull strings for you and another person felt something was going towards them until you showed up 
you have the king of swords in reverse they can fuck this person's being manipulated to get you in so this is the cups in reverse here this um car can feel like they're kind of being let go in the past and now I'm the, the hr the boss or supervisor whatever they're focusing on you now this is just how somebody feels so y'all do have certain co-workers around y'all that do feel some type of way about y'all you do have the ones that love you and then you have the ones where they kind of can't stand you some of you guys here you have a co-worker here that's obsessed with you for some of you guys who is this co-worker we got the king of wands reverse here for some of you guys with the some of you guys here this could be this so y'all some of y'all this could be like an hr or a boss here with this king of wands here in reverse here for some of you guys this is somebody where they're obsessed with you to the point where they're willing to lie to get you in a position or this person's willing to lie for their own personal gain so some of you guys this is gonna be somebody where like you show up late they're willing to say you showed up on time because they want to keep you at the job or they're willing to be like oh this person did this did, did that oh no they was here at this point time or whatever you don't show up for a day or whatever this person try to find a way to not you know get you not to get a point but this is what i'm seeing here for some of you guys um y'all have a um somebody in a higher position here this king of wands in reverse where they kind of do you know mischievous things to kind of um keep you in certain positions here for some of y'all you yeah, got the six of swords here in reverse here um yeah some of you guys here you could be lack of progress in something for some of you guys maybe showing up maybe get back on break on time whatever it is they cover y'all y'all butt sometimes that's what i'm seeing here and some of you guys say this person is obsessed with you here that's why you have the six of wands here you got you got this person's attention here this person you feel like you get a lot of attention in the workplace for some of you guys here this is somebody where they have a tr they have trouble um talking to you because they get a lot of attention when you're around like when this person is near you at the workplace y'all get a lot of attention people are always staring when this person comes up to you because of how good you look how attractive you are how handsome you are fellow people could kind of look and see what might transpire and this person knows that so they kind of like you know they kind of stay i don't say say stay away but they kind of like don't make a move here but this is what i'm seeing here you have the death card here with this king of wands here in reverse here for some of you guys in the death card here some of you guys here this could even be somebody where they could have lied to say that um you're going to get fired here for some of you guys like some of you guys said this person could have lied and told people that they're going to fire you or lied to people that they're going to let you go and they didn't that's what i'm seeing here for some of you guys with the yeah with the judge requiring reverse people are like kind of confused because they say oh i thought they was going to let this person go and this person gave you another stress so some of you guys here if you on your last straw at your job or something and you got somebody covering you for you like a supervisor hr or boss whatever and they kind of let you slide being lenient it's because they got like they, they like you here but i'm also getting here the judgment in reverse people are kind of confused some of you guys did some of y'all lose your job and then get your job back if you that's if something happened like that to some of y'all you got other people confused like they they like oh i thought they um i thought they they left or i thought they got fired you know so this is what i'm seeing here so it's the next time bye hello how to welcome to my channel sophie gifted loves peace love and light beautiful bigger and bolder to you all this is going to be how does your co-workers view you how does your co-workers view you, pal, too? If this reading resonates with you and you like this reading, please like, comment down below. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. And yeah, if you're interested in my Patreon or personal, that's down below in the description box for something more personal. Let's get into this reading, pal, too. So how do your co-workers view you here? So some of you guys here, you, some of you guys, your co-workers, depending on, you know, man or woman, this is just what I see here. Some of you guys, your coworkers could view you as the baddest person in the job. So for some of you guys here, your coworkers could view you as the most attractive person at the workplace, man or woman. They will look at you as the most attractive person or people will view everybody in the workplace kind of view you as the most attractive person. Everybody in the workplace could kind of have a liking to you, kind of have a crush on you or, you know. So basically, this is how your coworkers view you as top flight, top notch, very well put together. A lot of people in the workplace can actually kind of have a crush on you or like you or would love to have a chance with you. They could have a chance with you here. This is how your coworkers view you here. Some of you guys here, you could have a coworker that has an issue with you here for some of you guys. Um, this could be somebody where they have some type of secret animosity towards you here. Um, this is somebody where they was kind of like the girl or that guy where everybody kind of loved when they got there at the job. And now you're on the job or whatever and you look very well put together. 
you look very attractive you smell really good you look really very handsome a person could kind of feel like they're being pushed off their pedestal a person could don't like the fact that you're getting more love or that people just seem like they're more interested in getting to know what you're about getting to know what you're into wanting to ask you questions but yeah, wanted to ask you questions of wanting to get to know you here. So this is somebody where they don't like the fact that ever since you've been at the workplace or at the job, you kind of took this person shine a little bit. This is how they feel. Everybody used to want to be up on this person, talk to this person, be around this person. Now that you at the workplace, it's like they feel the type of way because it's like the attention's not all on them. It's not all about this person anymore. Some of you guys here, this can even be somebody where they were talking to somebody at the workplace. They were sleeping with someone, talking to somebody, and then you got there and somebody wants to holler at you. They want to talk to you, and this person could feel some type of way here. Some of you guys, this person can even be having arguments with somebody at the workplace. Like they can literally be having arguments with someone at the workplace. They talk to somebody at the workplace that want to speak to some of you here. Yeah, we got the sun card. Like some of you guys, like as soon as you walk into the room at your workplace here, like people instantly see you here, you instantly, you know, noticeable here. People could smell you as well when you're far away here as well. A lot of you guys, you can um, come off as very confident as well. Like as soon as you walk in, you can use easy, people just kind of see you. They smell you, all of that. Like you, you just... You have like this prominent energy where it's like people kind of know you're in the building without you kind of saying you're in the building. They can smell you, they can smell your cologne or your aroma before you what, even hit the door. People can know you're around. And this is somebody where they don't like the fact that you're getting so much attention when you come around. They don't even like the fact that a lot of people see, um, you know, blushing towards you or smiling. So yeah, y'all do have a coworker here that don't like y'all. They could be dealing with someone in the workplace that wants to deal with you here. And they're two having arguments here. And this person kind of got a secret animosity or a bone to pick with y'all here. This is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we got the three of swords here. This person's going through some type of heartbreak here. And they kind of want to take their, ir their anger out on you here. Some of you guys here with the four of pentacles. This is somebody that's holding back for them. Like, they, they're dealing with somebody in the workplace that's not trying to mess with them anymore like somebody is pulling back from them because y'all showed up man or woman y'all showed that not somebody not giving somebody the attention as much as they were they pulled them back from someone and it's because they know this person want to talk to y'all so this is what i'm seeing here they want to um, rekindle with y'all and with the sister cups if this is somebody that already been at the workplace for some time they already established a connection with this person they could even miss it could have been as far as intimate with each other and this person want to holler at y'all they want to they want to talk to you they want to you know get to know you here and another person can feel this person pulling back so this is what i'm seeing here for some of you guys um but y'all how y'all co-workers view you for some of you guys is you can have a co-worker here that can't get you off their mind here for some of you guys this is somebody where they find you be very attractive here this could be somebody where they don't know what to say to you here the five of swords here for some of you guys and this could be somebody where they kind of they want to like uh help you out so some of you guys if you're at a workplace here this is somebody where they would try to come and ask you if you need help or they would help you out while you at work or whatever or just go out of their way to do something for you just so they can be around you here um so let's say you do something they may want to come over and help you do something real quick or help you on your job or whatever it's because this person um can't get you off their mind they want to be near you this person finds you attractive here with the sun card here that you bright you bright this person's day up here some of you guys this person's going through something at work and they kind of see you kind of give them a little energy to kind of finish out the day here this is what i'm seeing here but y'all have a co-worker here that that got a crush on y'all somebody's crushing on you here at the workplace here but the two of wands here for some of you guys this is somebody where they want to um with the three of swords here for some of you guys and the two of wands yeah for some of y'all here this could even be that co-worker that's talking to somebody because we got the three of swords here some of you guys are going to have to break somebody else's heart to go towards a new direction with the six of swords to move on to common orders to you so yeah this person has a crush on you i'm trying to tell you y'all got a co-worker that got a crush on y'all that was dealing with someone else in the workplace they pull it back from this person because they want to get to know you. Um, this matter where they can't stop thinking about you. They even try to do certain stuff just to be around you or have a reason to interact with you or whatever. Um, this is somebody here as well where they find you to be very attractive here, man or woman. And they pull it back from another person. They feel this. So some of you guys here, you can have a co-worker. This is for some of y'all. Some of you guys, if you have a co-worker here and um, you always used to talk to each other, but you don't anymore and you get in like random calls on your phone is that some of you guys you can have a co-worker that maybe you gave your number to 
that maybe you some of y'all give me quite quite frank y'all gave your number to a co-worker that y'all was trying to talk to y'all end up blocking this person and you could be getting random calls it's from that person here like somebody y'all could have a co-worker calling y'all for random phone numbers here okay and this one that y'all gave y'all number to for some of y'all you have to tend to want to this where they want to stress you out here they want to cause burdens on you here for some of you guys okay for not all of you guys but the other ten of swords here because they feel betrayed so some of you guys here if you gay I'll, if some of you guys i don't know how somebody got your number but some of y'all you have a co-worker that's playing on your phone it could be calling your phone that um some of y'all you block this person here and this person's calling you from different numbers here it's because they feel betrayed and they want to stress you out and make you feel burdened here because they feel betrayed by you this is what i'm getting here so whether this is something whether this is something um that you you know know about or not for the ones where this is happening to yes that's what i'm saying okay some of you guys so you can have co-workers that know you by your first or last name and they could have went and searched you up on social media or trying to find your social media here some of you guys here they could they some of you guys your co-workers have found your social media they have and they are under a hidden account or they could be under account where their name is their their account name is not their actual name like somebody named Mercedes 3000 being six or whatever but they name um isaiah you know what i'm saying that's what i'm getting here so it's almost like somebody you may not know that somebody's watching you because they have like their name it's not their actual name on social media but they're watching you and it's a co-worker here some of y'all you can even have a co-worker watch you with, within the hidden account here with the eight of pentacles here for some of you guys in reverse some of y'all this is an old co-worker so some of you guys you can have old co-workers that's watching your social media page they're trying to see if you're still working at that um working at a job here or they're trying to see if you're still doing something for work so y'all yes some of y'all you can have a co-worker here that y'all used to um uh, this is not no new co-worker this is a co-worker here some of y'all you could have a co-worker that's trying to see if you work anywhere like if you have a second job because y'all some of you guys you come to work or whatever and you say you got more going on outside the workplace and this person could be trying to see if you were like where you getting your money from or if you have another job where you're getting your extra source of income from this is what i'm seeing here and then others of you here i'm seeing where this is somebody where this is an old co-worker here and they're trying to see if you're still at some type of job that wasn't treating you right or you're still working at some type of job or just doing something that you don't want to do here of the tennis stories if some of you guys here this could be somebody where they can want to portray so some of y'all you could have like a co-worker at your old job that's trying to look at you on social media and they could be trying to uh find something on you to kind of betray you with a like, yeah and this is an old co-worker so some of y'all maybe you could have been cool with an old co-worker for some of you guys or something that or that man they may have your social media or something this is somebody where um um, this is somebody where they could be looking at your social media trying to see where you work at here. Um, they, this, this could be somebody where, where they're trying to use like, oh, they still at that job. Or, they still making less money. They still working at that lame old job. Or this person, they still at these, these jobs that don't make no money. This is what I'm seeing here. Like, y'all have a coworker that y'all used to work with at an old job that's trying to see if you're still doing something so they can use it against you or betray you here. This is what I'm seeing here. You have the Wheel of Fortune here reverse. Um, this is somebody where they kind of want to disrupt your flow here. The five of pentacles here. Yeah, some of you guys here, this could be somebody where they can want to make a sink or struggling here with the queen of wands because they're intimidated by you, how you look. So some of you guys, you can have an old co-worker at your old job that's watching you on social media. This is somebody where they're intimidated by your beauty here. They're intimidated by how you look here. This is somebody where they find you very attractive here. Some of you guys, with the five of pentacles here and the queen of wands, this could be somebody where they're trying to find like a picture of you with like your, you, where you're going through it or trying to find like an ugly picture of you or something. Or the wheel with the wheel of fortune reverse when you was going through some type of hard times here. So yeah, y'all have a coworker that's literally an old coworker that's literally looking on your social media trying to find like a hard picture of you, like a hard time picture of you when you're going through hard times, you're struggling, you look jacked up because they're intimidated by your beauty. Like some of you guys, somebody wants to talk about you with other coworkers that used to you used to work with at an old job. It's because they they intimidated by your beauty. A lot of you guys you're very handsome or very attractive. This person feels like you're way more attractive than them or way more handsome than them. That they're trying to go out of the way to find like some type of picture of you that you know you look jacked up in to kind of like oh this is how she used to look or this is how he used to look or da 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 or this this and that. This is what I'm seeing here. 
with your judgment card here in reverse here for some of you guys this person wants to make people kind of they want people to chime in and gossip with them and they can want maybe people to view you different like if people view you as attractive or you as known as some of you guys whatever old job you used to work at believe it or not you was known as a pretty woman or a handsome man like some of you guys i'm getting out of old workplace you know because i know we got y'all new the workplace y'all at right now okay but y'all old workplace specifically you could have been somebody where you was known as one of the baddest females in there one of the baddest guys in there like I, everybody in the workplace kind of they all would agree that they if they had to choose somebody to date or talk to you'd be kind of like the first choice the first person on the list and another person knew that and it kind of was intimidated that you were like the choice or the pick that people liked so this is somebody where they kind of wanted to find something on you to kind of like you know humble you that's what i'm seeing here so till next time, bye.